Hi, I'm Ira Winkler. And I'm Araceli Troy Gomez, and welcome to the Ira Report, brought to you in partnership with CSO Magazine. As many of you may know, we recently interviewed industry icon and presidential candidate John McAfee. And what you're going to be seeing today is an excerpt of that interview. We've broken the interview up until, into several segments. And you can go ahead and watch this segment or go to irarireport.com and see the full segment. In the meantime, enjoy this, which the title will have told you which interview this, which subject matter this will be. So thanks so much, and we will see you soon. Thank you. So you've talked a lot about what your, your strengths and your, your priorities and your backgrounds look like. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about what your first year in office would look like? Okay, my, my first year in office will be, will be the easiest, I think. Um, uh, as, as the uh, executive leader uh, using the executive powers, uh, I intend to do a, a number of things. Step one, uh, to pardon all of, of, um, inmates of federal prisons that are in there for offenses that are mar- marijuana related. Whether you dealt it, you sold it, or you used it, uh, we are we have filled our prisons with with people who who smoked a single joint and are are serving 15 years time. When we have real criminals in this country, uh, you know, murderers and and uh, human traffickers, uh, uh, rapists, um, we need that space. And 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 I just believe that it is insane uh, for someone self administering a drug. Uh, to to spend 15 years in prison, it makes no sense. Uh, whether people like that or not, it's it's how I see it, and it's what I will do. Um, I will disband the C, the TSA, the DIA, and and a number of other agencies. Reduce the FDA um, because they are completely non-functional. Uh, the TSA replace them with federal marshals on all airplanes. Uh, the DIA, we do not need the Department of Indian Affairs. I am sorry. Uh, the Native Americans can take care of their own affairs. They are adults. Uh, we have we have squeezed them onto reservations and then tried to help them by removing their culture and Americanize them. What does that actually mean? Uh, they are nations within America, um, uh, so that will be gone. So th- that's easy, you know. Disbanding things is is a piece of cake. We, as as an entrepreneur, we have to do it all the time. In tight times, uh, when we can't pay salaries, we we have to get rid of people, and that's a tragic tragedy. Uh, but it has to be done. Um, I will I will hire immediately uh, you know many technologists it will certainly be in the thousands uh, that I personally know of are, are competent and and can can do work uh, are charismatic enough to lead organizations and begin the process of dismantling our, our aging systems and replacing them uh, with with modern equivalents uh, that also is a piece of cake um, I will rein in the State Department and all of our policing of, of the of the outside world because we we haven't policed ourselves. You know we've turned we've turned American citizens into enemies uh, rather than trying to make the the American citizen free enough to to reinvigorate our economy and our nation. Um, these are easy things, and if I can accomplish that in the first year, then I will feel the first year has been has been well spent. Uh, but it's beyond that that the problems will come. Uh, it, it will be the reactions both internally, domestically, and, and, and from the foreign world where we're no longer giving money to nations that, that have been expecting it because we don't have it. I'm not going to run a, a dream government where if we don't have money, we, 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 we print it and give it anyway. That's not going to happen. So there will be problems in the second year, a massive fallout, and I, I don't know exactly what they will be, and we will have to deal with them at that time. Uh, I am quick on my feet, and, and uh, as an entrepreneur, you have to be, and we will just see. The first year will be easy. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So with that, we'd like to really thank John McAfee for making time with us again. He's running several businesses as well as running for president, which I assume keeps him a little bit on the busy side. So we really appreciate having him there. And we also appreciate you joining us for today's edition of the IRARI Report. Uh, please keep an eye out for us in the future as we bring you other guests and uh Thank you for watching this episode. So thanks again, and see you really soon. Bye. Bye.